We are going over let. He's nervous. It's his first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian cuts. Evan cuts his little brother. Blue belt. We are gonna go over some leg binding, leg weaving passes real fast. We'll go over those, and then I'm gonna show how to escape the omoplata and go straight into it. Okay. So first of all, let's go here. All right. So we're in half guard. All right. We're in half guard over here, and I want you to pay attention to my feet. So if he's got the knee block and his feet are, feet are like this in any fashion, right? I'm going to bind his legs, and I'll show this from other angles. I'm going to bind his legs. I'm going to put my weight on this knee. Oh, yeah. He's got to separate his feet. And my weight's on my knee, and I can swivel my foot. So now I'm essentially not in half guard. So I got my weight can go this way, and my weight's on my knee so I can staple his, his shin. So I'm like this, right? So his knees up, weight down, swivel my foot. I'm essentially not in the guard anymore, but there's gonna be a fight that I'm gonna have to do. Okay, let's turn back this way. Okay, so the rest of this pass, and there's variations of this. I can raise my knee up and slide my shin out. There's all kinds of variations of that, but the second part of this pass has to do with clinching here. So I've got the binding pass. It's not at his hips, not his knees, it's right in the middle. Shoulder pressure's down. But say I got my foot out already, right? I'm gonna clinch the back of his head and drive my weight into his shoulder, essentially trying to flatten him out. Then I'll extend this arm to Navy Rider, right? So I'm here. I'm going to come running around the corner. Look, I come running around the corner. I extend my arm, and then I come back to side control. If I want, I can actually, I can actually retract and push his legs the other way so that now I'm more in a leg drag position, you know? So I have both of those. Now, there's a couple quick variations I'm going to show real fast. And, and I want to talk about something too. Some people like to grab, you can grab the collar and the geek. You can try and do both of these, but like, you're like 6'4 now? Yeah. It's going to be hard for short guys to grab the head, but they can get their feet out real fast. And now they're mobile because I'm not in half guard anymore. Now I'm mobile. I can turn, I can put them in the truck. Right? I can start to go that way. I can. I'm free of his guard now. I can come around his body in any form or fashion. I can take his back. I'm mobile. So a short guy is going to have problems in the guard trying to reach this, push me away, reach this long guy's head. But they're mobile, so at least maybe I can come in passing, or if I get underneath his arm, go to turtle, 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 turtle. Right, so I can make that speed game. So that's why I'm a fan of getting his legs split first and fighting this first we're getting here and then grabbing the head because not everybody can do it that way so again I'm running in sideways I'm pushing this leg straight back behind me I'm grabbing his head then I come in so now we're gonna talk about the omoplata if he grabs my hip yeah I've got a hip roll we showed a video on that Okay, so what I'm going to do before, right before he gets here is a little early entries. I'm going to turn perpendicular, okay, so he doesn't grab my hip, and I'm going to flatten one side. I have my head down. My arm's going to come through. I grab his knee right here. I don't want him to be vertical, so I push his knee over. I'm already in a position to run by. All right? So I'm here. Perpendicular head down. Sprawl my, knee, my far side leg. Push his knee. So he doesn't keep your knees up. I don't want to get in this position or grab his other leg. I want to push his knee over. Switch this to here. Two more times. Then we're done. Go. Ready, set.